What is going on? What's up? Hey, I just spoke really <laughs> loudly. Oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing? Doing good, doing good, man. Uh, what, what? I'm doing really good. Thanks, thanks for having me on. Sammy. I would just like so. to point out real quick that Jack, he's been on here before. You guys might know, uh, hey. is eating oatmeal again on the show. It's good. This time I got pesto sauce in it and kale and egg. So this is this is a revelation. It's called he's, savory oatmeal, man. He's stepping it up. It's changed my life. That's quite a fusion cuisine right there, if you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 that's what it sounds like um so oh. jack go ahead both of you guys just uh tell us a little bit about your podcasts yeah. oh, oh um, um jack you want to go first <clears throat> sure while you're eating your oatmeal <laughs> <laughs> yeah i almost <laughs> choked for a second there okay <laughs> yeah i'm jack Parthenola krishna i host uh that pointless podcast uh, jake's in the back here somewhere I don't actually know where he is. Probably in his bedroom, just doing random shit. Okay, but yeah, the that Jake produces it. We work at JSP. It's a media productions company. We produce that pointless podcast. A few more podcasts that'll be coming out soon. Uh, yeah, go check it out. We just do interviews with people, but with random ass questions. So, yeah, Sammy actually did an episode on there earlier with Hunter. Ooh, ooh. You guys remember Hunter? Yeah, that was that was awesome. Yeah. It was great. And, uh, okay, Marley? Oh, um, my name is Marley Silverbrand, and uh, I host the Water Cooler podcast. Uh, we're, uh, we ba- it's basically just a discussion podcast where I just bring on, on my friends uh, each week, and we just discuss what's going on in the world, society, culture, nerd culture, sports, just whatever we feel like talking about. Just a we are. discussion podcast to get us through these crazy times we're living in right now so that sounds amazing yeah yeah Yeah. i can vouch for both of these podcasts at the r grant i listened to them both a plus all right thank you sammy (laughs) i'm gonna go follow follow the water filler podcast right now (laughs) all right so thank you so much (laughs) the games we're playing today is a lot of you may know this one because it's been done a lot it's called slide ride the game of uh, me making a Google Slides presentation and I make these people present them. Jack is going to go first because I know how much he loves these, you know? These are great. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna share my screen here. And Jack, whenever you're ready, man, go ahead. And- I am the traveler of the nations, the best of the best. I've gone everywhere and everywhere else. So yeah. Let's, let, let's see what I've done in the recent days. <laughs> uh, you see, this was, this was back <laughs> in the day. I was uh, going hunting one day with my cat. You know, I don't like dogs. I'm not a dog person. So I took the cat with me this time. You know, he's a, he brings his stuff back. He, he gets a little lazy along the way, but sometimes he ends up bringing eggplants. This time, I got a lot of eggplants, man. These were, these were some really big eggplants, too. I mean, he's the pro eggplant finder. I have a deal with a restaurant. They give me those big egg, I get those big eggplants for them and they pay me millions. It's really? serious business. Yeah. That's impressive. That's how I can travel so much. <laughs> yeah, this was that this was that time I met a guy named Donald. He had a McDonald's, but then he lost a lawsuit. Uh, he got sued <laughs> really badly. And then he got high. And then he decided, hey, let's just make a Donald restaurant. So he decided to make it kind of look like a dick on the top. But it's it's fine, you know, it's, it's all good. <laughs> I wasn't thinking like that, but I guess that works too. <laughs> yeah. This was that this was that one time I was in the forest, you know. I got chased by this dude, but apparently it was it was during quarantine. So I mean this guy was just being nice. I mean, I I <laughs> thought he was a crazy maniac, but he was just giving me toilet paper. I mean I needed toilet paper. We all do right now. Hmm? Is that Charmin? Oh yes, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. It's it, it, it's it's the cushiony one. That guy actually works for a local Walmart in my town. Oh, <laughs> chill. <laughs> he's, he's such a nice dude, man. You got to talk to him. Oh, 
<laughs> he, has, he has great stories. He's talked about how one day he chased down a lady with toilet paper and she called the cops on him and thinking he was assaulting him, but then she, he just handed her toilet paper and now their best friends are married, man. Wow, a lot of history behind one thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Can you guess where these next pictures were taken at? Because I've gone to some really crazy places. <laughs> Ooh, this is this is one. Uh, remember this? It was when I went over to one nation back in the day, back in the African savanna. Yeah, mm. we had a giant shrub house because there was a dictator there, and he had carved a tree. Yeah, where where, do you, where in Africa do you guys think this was taken? Huh? Um. <laughs> uh, is Wakanda? I, am I, am I so, <laughs> yeah. yeah they, they, they made a genetically modified tree. It's so you could pick it up and you could put it on your head and dance, man. It's it's like a mobile tree. And then you could spin it sometimes and it creates like wind. It's like the advanced windmill, man. It's, it's, it's came from shit. Wakanda because that's the portal where we go in to bring back uh, Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, that too. That too, man. <laughs> Isn't, isn't, you go in there, you sit in there long enough, you're just gonna, gonna start spinning, then you'll teleport. You'll be like, <laughs> Isn't a mobile tree a just a, like a potted plant? <laughs> <laughs> this oh one has God. a propeller. <laughs> it's a potted propeller pant, plant. Pants plant? Pants? Plants pants. Okay. And I can't speak English now. Oh, this, this was fun. This was at a Walmart. Yeah few of my friends and we we met this one girl i don't know J jake was trying to hit on her for a really long time <laughs> like he was trying to get at it but nope uh -huh. that, that dude that, that dude doesn't get anywhere with that. <laughs> you'd kill me if i said that <laughs> who's, your, who, who's your friend the, uh, the guy in the trunk or the guy yeah which one is he? staring oh he's in he's the, the guy in the trunk <laughs> okay. he's a guy in the trunk right? he likes trunks <laughs> He like that, that's how he got to America. <laughs> he, he, got, he got in a trunk in London. <laughs> so which one is you then? Oh, I'm I'm the one dude, the one Asian Indian dude, like right over there. Just a fat Indian kid. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> of course. The, the plump Indian kid of the dudes. Ooh, this is my grandma. Yeah, she's a different ethnicity, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I, I, I'm partially adopted. Partially, not completely, partially. It's a weird process. Uh, but of course, she, she likes to blow toast water, water bombs as part of her culture over in um, uh, some random white country in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did like to blow torch water bombs. It's a special dish that they make. They actually put bird seed on it and then some pesto sauce and oatmeal and maybe a little bit of peanut butter brittle and some goose. It's made mm. of glass, and I'm literally just looking around my room and naming things. <laughs> Red carpet. <laughs> I figured. That's quite the palette you got there. <laughs> yeah. That must taste like something else in your mouth. Oh. You make it taste like heaven, then. <laughs> That's what she this, is the, this is the McDonald's. <laughs> this, this, is the bur this is the burger of uh, random white country in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That'll sell. <laughs> That might be a bit racist. <laughs> but of course, everything of that, all of this just seems unusual, you know. I actually took all these pictures in one day. That's why I'm giving this oh, wow. to everybody. I mean, this is some serious travel here. There was, let, let me explain. Okay, let me explain, guys. Mm -hmm. We started, is there another slide? Uh, yes, there's one more. Oh. Okay, I, I just explained on the slide. Okay, <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, yeah. So I actually did a speed teleportation kind of thing. You know that Wakanda tree that we saw earlier? That's where I started. And I would teleport back through that tree all the time. It's just a constant teleportation network. But in Japan, you know, in Japan, you could teleport through a giant piece of sushi. That's, that's the key part. Japan to, Japan to Norway, just through a piece of sushi. And then you fall out in Norway out of uh out of uh is, is that how the, the watermelon you fall out of the special <laughs> watermelon <laughs> <laughs> they have a giant version of that and you just go plop <laughs> you sometimes have to climb that you get stuck in the watermelon sometimes 
And sometimes you come out a little small and you got to run away from a spoon. Like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to eat something every time. It was a meditative experience, guys. This was a mm-hmm. spiritual experience for me. All right. Really. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. And I hope oh, this inspires you in your new travels. <laughs> you know what i i think i need a little more insight as to how the teleportation works i would like to try uh, that see okay well, you get in the tree right you sit in the tree and you gotta cross your legs you gotta sit, cr- sit crisscross applesauce and hold the two tops of the tree and you just gotta lean back right you uh-huh. lean back then you hold yourself on the tree you balance your head on there and then you just gotta shake until you somehow get hard <laughs> you know, it'll, it'll sense your it'll sense your horniness and you'll start spinning man it's crazy it's a teleportation <laughs> device based off of horniness <laughs> i'm the master of that or maybe you gotta be high you know it just depends right just depends high on sometimes what? you gotta be high and horny high on what Mm, that that's the thing. It's be high on horny. That's what it is. <laughs> high on horny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that was very informative. I must uh, be honest. Um, Marley, I'm my oatmeal sauce everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Marley, I want to share my screen for you in just a second. Um. Let me see. Here it is. And I'd say your topic is a bit more mainstream compared to what he was talking about. Okay. Oh, uh, how? (laughs) Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you how to stay fit, especially during these COVID times with the gyms being closed. I think everyone is looking for how, uh, uh, just a way to stay fit and (laughs) just, yeah. Next slide, please. (laughs) Sounds very (laughs) confident. (laughs) Um, you, first you're going to want to eat, uh, whatever these, uh, like pastries and milk, I guess, or pickles <laughs> and milk. Uh, it's definitely gonna, I, I feel like, uh, Jack is already, uh, uh like, I'm he, on board. Uh, My oatmeal, man. <laughs> Jack is like eating the oatmeal and, and the pesto, but this, I feel like this is definitely like a, uh, it's a healthy, um, uh, alternative to what Jack is eating, uh, eating right now. So, um, so yeah, next slide. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you should always stay active, even when, no matter uh, if you're 12, 12 years old or 80 years old, uh, skateboarding uh, is a good way of staying active. Even though she, this, this woman is just holding the skateboard out, uh, she might, looks like she might break her back, like uh, <laughs> taking one step. But uh, she she's still active. And do you uh, do you know this person uh, personally? Uh, yes, I do. She is my great grandmother, and uh, oh. she is hey. such a sweetheart. <laughs> and uh, that was the uh, wrong voice. Uh, she has <laughs> she has a, um, she has polio, um, but uh, we st- I still love her very very. <laughs> <laughs> but I still love her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she, but she's also had a good dream of being a, a pro skateboarder, and uh, I, no, I, I'm never, um, I, I'm never doubting her. But um, times are tough. Times are tough. Next slide. Inspirational man. Um, yeah, you should always multitask. Get multiple t- uh, tasks done in, in one, and just ec- always exercise and. Uh, just training your brain in multiple different ways, like just typing with your feet and uh, just, <laughs> yeah, like I think uh, today, today's day and age, like with the kids and their smartphones, like they're definitely like perfect at, at a task like this, but, but yeah, uh, always train your <laughs> how, brain. <laughs> now, how was this picture taken? Because clearly your hands are on the keyboard. I uh, he, he was taking it with his dick. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so yeah. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know what to do with that one. <laughs> but yeah, uh, healthy foods to eat: uh, bananas, oranges, I, and apparently two bananas again. 
uh, you guys must really like bananas. It's like, to, I get, and then you just throw a salad in there too. So a fruit salad. I get, you could, we could sum that. Whoever made these slides, we can sum that up easily by <laughs> just saying fruit salad. But, uh, but yeah, uh, always eat your fruits and vegetables. And uh, yeah, I don't. And <laughs> you guessed it. You definitely guessed it. <laughs> Um, yeah. What, so is, no, no apples or, uh, or no, no apples at all. <laughs> I am very racist against all apples, and uh, yeah, just nothing else except for these uh, two food groups. So, so yeah, <laughs> nothing else. You'll be, you will eventually die because there's no water in there. So, but I, mm. I, I still don't think you should drink water because the oranges water. have the oranges have special water. Yeah, special, <laughs> special water. water. <laughs> and, and going back to Jack's presentation, uh, the orange is the, you get the orange special water by going through the tree and uh, teleporting yeah. to Wakanda. <laughs> it's true. Those, that tree is a very special tree, Ben. Yes, very special tree. <laughs> Wakanda forever. That's yeah. see. That's that's where. Uh, that's why it's so. That's why it's forever because the orange special juice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sam, have you ever been to the sacred tree? <laughs> I haven't. No, you gotta go, man. It's it's yeah, a sight sounds to be like old. it. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm working my way there. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this <laughs> this this cat is just very uh, particular about its watermelons. It's so it's so protective over them. And why, why, why can you not? It's uh, watermelons are a really great <laughs> fruit, even though I don't think you should eat them. Uh, but this cat <laughs> apparently thinks so. Uh, so even even then, you shouldn't you shouldn't eat them. But cats, you shouldn't eat a cat. But cats <laughs> definitely eat watermelons. <laughs> but yeah. Could you actually eat a cat? Is that a thing? Uh, Asians do it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> really. That yeah, is I'll very racist. <laughs> Please cut that out. <laughs> uh, I'm no. comfortable with saying it. Many cultures do this. Okay, but yeah. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, this is a direct shot at the uh, LeBron James uh, Finals MVP. It was a direct hit. Um, <laughs> Don't ask me how this is uh, supposed to make you fit, but uh, it's a direct uh, shot at uh, the Los Angeles Lakers. But <laughs> uh, Jack, do you have anything? <laughs> yeah. well, hey, it's Jack. me again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we just catch um, it up in the shower with the pop tart guys. <laughs> Yeah, pop, pop tarts are definitely an important food group, but th they have to have orange flavor and uh, and banana flavor, but oh, yeah. nothing else. Uh, and you gotta uh, wa wash that down with uh, uh, or orange water. So um, so yeah, <laughs> all day and every day. And uh, you gotta have the swag too. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have the swag like this guy. It's like uh, this this guy knows how to eat a pop tart. He knows how to eat it the right way. And uh, he's 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 listening to uh, Kanye West too. Uh, Kanye West, who is running for president, uh, he know Kanye West knows how to uh, uh, he knows how to eat pop tarts as well and uh, <laughs> eat the right food groups. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next next slide. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the per most important exercise routine is to do twenty five push ups. That's it. Uh, so if you do those 24, 25 push ups, you're just gonna have a eight pack no matter what uh yeah. 20, not on the 24th on the 25th you'll instantly get an eight pack uh, -huh. uh that's it uh so yeah uh but and also make sure you um uh, you, you eat those bananas and oranges <laughs> does and, it double every time you do double the amount of push-ups you just have more more abs yes. on your body <laughs> yes you'll I'm just create, have i'm gonna create a graph <laughs> so if you do uh, 50, you'll just have a 16 pack and you'll eventually die because you'll be creating more muscles and your body can't handle it. <laughs> eventually, you're just going to look like that one dude from Fantastic Four, the thing. <laughs> yes, yes, very much. <laughs> rolls on rolls on rolls. And thank you for this presentation.
<laughs> so <laughs> I hope you learned something today <laughs> and uh, stay fit during these COVID times. <clears throat> Amazing. Wow. That yeah. was that was taken straight from, <laughs> from TED Talk. Wow, that was amazing. I got my mic, I got open on my mic wired. Oh no. <laughs> he just like cuts off for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> 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 All right. So, I absolutely love that game. That is my favorite one. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. It's so good. <laughs> Cavemen. Cavemen do slide ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right this it's, next it's a good game, game. <laughs> this next game is called character clash and for the audience it is a game where they have a character with an ability and a weapon each of those could be bad or good depending on what they get based on chance they have to argue back and forth about why their character would win in a fight between the two so jack <clears throat> three numbers from one to sixty Ooh, when does 60? Hmm. Yeah. Three I don't think hard about this. 12? Okay. 51. Okay. And 36. Yeah. I'm going to win All the lottery, right. man. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty good at this. All right. So that means you are Darth Vader. Hey. Um, 51. You have spiky metal knee pads. Oh yeah. Um, so you yeah, have you got those and thirty six. Um, you have a four foot long neck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I gotta I gotta ask a question: Is Darth Vader wearing his full suit? And then the knee pads, or is it just the knee pads? It's just naked Darth Vader with a four foot neck and knee pads. <laughs> He has got the entire armor suit with the knee pads on the outside. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So that is you, Jack. Let me actually paste this in the chat so you can see it. Um, Dope. That's if a I can lot find better to chat. imagine the naked Darth Vader. Okay. okay. And Marley, go ahead and choose three numbers for me. One to 60. Okay. okay. So I'll go 13. Lucky number 13. Uh-huh. And then I'll do seven, lucky number seven. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. we'll do 25. Okay. 13, seven, and 25. So you are actually King Kong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, King Kong with nunchucks. <laughs> um, and you are deaf. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm deaf. <laughs> <laughs> a little unfortunate. Uh, okay. Uh, this so, will be interesting. I think I think I I got this one. Yeah, I got this one. Today. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have Jack go ahead and tell me why his character would win, and then Marley, I'm gonna give you like a rebuttal sort of thing to give why, you know, as like a counter. So, Jack. <laughs> Go Darth ahead. Vader's, Darth Vader's got this long ass neck, right? But he's also got the force, and this dude's fit, right? He he's doing he's taking all the cucumber salt oatmeal things he needs to take. He's he he's healthy as shit, man. This dude's doing his twenty five per push ups, so he's got <laughs> neck muscles. Mm. He's got serious neck muscles, okay? So he's gonna he's gonna use the force to bend the buildings toward King Kong and <laughs> hold him. And King Kong's not going to hear any of this because King Kong's deaf, right? And he's going to be <laughs> swinging his lunchbox around like a crazy person. And Darth Vader just going to come around and wrap his neck around King Kong. <laughs> and then pull like a boa constrictor. And then Darth Vader's neck is going to slowly <laughs> consume King Kong. <laughs> and then he's going to slam the speaking metal knee pads into his eyes. And pull out King Kong's eyeballs and show them to him. And King Kong is going to be crying the whole time. And then King Kong's going to hit his neck with these nunchucks. But oh, King Kong, I feel bad for you because these, these this neck is just going to bounce, man. <laughs> it's going to bounce. <laughs> How long do you think his neck is? <laughs> I don't know. Man. Four <laughs> foot long four neck. Foot. Oh four shit, four feet. feet isn't that long? <laughs> four feet. It's like 
Four means like half the height of a person. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, half the height. No, 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 no. Like it's three it's fourths. a little okay. more. A little more. <laughs> so not quite the amount to stretch okay. around. Yeah, so up to my shoulder. <laughs> okay, I got to reframe my argument. Hold on. I got this. So, so is my... Is my but uh, is my rebuttal going to be a, a reaction to to all this, or is this how I think it's going to turn out? Just, well, just what about we just react the fight, re- reenact the fight? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Go ahead, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dar- Darth Vader's on his way. He's got his four foot long neck. He's waddling along. He's just, his head <laughs> is swinging along. He's like he's like twice the height of a normal person now because he's got this giant neck and he's working with his spiky metal knee pads and holding up all the buildings with his force thing does he have a lightsaber with him he does he does ah so he's got a lightsaber but he's (laughs) he's holding it he can't hold it because he's holding the force in one hand and it's a lot of buildings so he needs both hands or he can he can hold a lightsaber in one hand yeah (laughs) why not (laughs) why not I was gonna see if he could stick it in his ass, but that would probably. Be... <laughs> I, I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm not sure whether Darth Vader was a lightsaber tail. I don't know. I was trying to turn him into a monkey of some sort. <laughs> Get a clench, you know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I might be going too far. <laughs> okay, Marley. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> What, what, King, what, 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 what's King Kong doing? The deaf King Kong with nunchucks? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, King Kong is just strolling or just strolling strolling down the street like one day and <clears> just sees this Darth Vader with spiky metal knee pads and a four foot long neck coming towards him, and it, like he obviously doesn't hear him because he's deaf. But uh, <laughs> so he starts freaking out. He's like, "This guy's gonna start attacking me," and then. An innocent bystander right next to him sees that Darth Vader is going to attack King Kong and calls 911 because Darth Vader is attacking a disabled person. So, and <laughs> calls the authority on Darth Vader. And <laughs> Darth Vader oh, no. goes to court and... and uh, <laughs> Wait, Darth how does Darth Vader, Vader get arrested? He gets... Uh, the, the government arrests him. Government. How? <laughs> they, they bring in the tanks? There, they bring in the tanks, <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, no, a right to a fair trial because uh, Darth Vader, like, you don't know if he was going to attack King Kong, but uh, that's true. You, you just can't, uh, you, but you can't um, <laughs> send like these threats uh, to uh, to King Kong, a disabled uh, uh, individual. I don't think, dude. I don't think Darth Vader does sign language. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He you, might. You never know. He's he's he, he's a smart he's, dude. That's true. Yeah, he's a smart dude. So yeah. So your defense, Marley, is that because the legal King system Kong, <laughs> <laughs> is, yeah, that immediately is that a, is that just, disqualification? <laughs> no, it's not disqualification. I just don't. <laughs> yeah, so. Wait, 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 but you gotta screw over the legal system, right? Dar- Darth Vader is—he's—he's he's rich as <laughs> shit, man. This dude came from space. He's gonna sell his lightsaber for like two point seven million dollars and bring in lawyers from the freaking like what Republic or Empire? I don't know. I don't watch Star Wars, but he's gonna bring in the dude from there, some sort of lawyer from there. He's gonna be a fucking genius. And, he's, gonna they, th- he's gonna throw King Kong out of court. And then they spend thirty years just fighting this case, and then at, at the end of uh, King Kong just folds, and and, and, <laughs> and Darth Vader gives him fifteen million dollars to shut up. Fifty-year-old <laughs> Darth Vader just laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird sound. Oh my god! And King, King Kong is just sitting there quietly in the in the, in the courtroom because he has no idea what's going on because he's deaf. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That yeah, laugh perfect. sounded like if, if like a toddler laughed with a balloon popping inside of them. <laughs> yeah, I know. I tried to breathe in during it. I don't know what I was doing. I was horrifying. All right, I'm gonna give. Oh, I'm gonna hey, give Jake. this to. Um, I'm gonna have to give it to Darth Vader, because King Kong is deaf, but. Eventually, throughout physical combat or the legal system, I think that Darth Vader would eventually uh, defeat him. 
that is the verdict yes so a, a good so, yeah. fight was fought financially and physically <laughs> and legally but darth vader bribed the judge he did and that's the american legal system for you folks <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly how it works not that far off <clears throat> we're gonna do another quick one right here okay. jack pick three more numbers from one to 60. Ooh, actually jake you want to do this I got it. Okay. Yeah, have, have Jake I, I, I just had to listen to this. Yeah, let's see. Uh, 42, 16, 23. Okay. I got this. 42, 16, 23. Okay. Oh, yes. So you are a sniper. Um, <clears throat> like a skinny sniper? Or what, what, what are we working with? Uh, just a regular average... Uh, uh, marksman guy. sniper yeah with a fireball wand <laughs> and you just woke up <laughs> oh he's still in bed um he sleeps with the wand on him marley go ahead and choose three numbers uh let's do 28 31 okay. and you know what 60 60 interesting interesting oh, okay yes strategy 28 okay so get this you are god yes oh um, shit <laughs> what you know kung fu uh, and why god know kung fu what no because and, he's god <laughs> oh no <laughs> and you can jump 100 feet in the air okay so <laughs> oh god Shit. Um, Jack, I'm gonna give you the first uh, argument here. As soon as you're at it, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I got this. Um, let's see. Oh, God gets bored. Yes, we have that as a question too. Okay, so God gets bored. He gets kind of like pissed off. He's he's been spending the past like what millions of millions of years just sitting around and shitting on a toilet for a while, and he's just been doing this. So now he sees this guy and he's like, huh, okay. And he tries to fight him, but he's like, I'm too bored for this. So God just sits down and he just resigns because he wants to sit on his toilet for a bit and just <laughs> contemplate life. For another billion years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I seriously wonder what God does. Okay. Um, Marley, what, what's your take on this? What's uh, so, oh, <laughs> God is... <laughs> God is the god on the toilet, yes. take the sniper out like the god's just gonna take the sniper out just because he's just like i created you like you take out of this world <laughs> sounds like something my mom says that is a little disconcerting <laughs> so you're gonna bolt him or what <laughs> and also I'm it's like if God obviously wins here because he knows Kung Fu and he can jump a hundred feet in the air. He can, and like the sniper just woke up. So he's obviously going to be like, a little he's not going to be there time. and just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. The sniper's just dead, mate. I, I, I can't argue this. I'm sorry. This is too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a better character on here than God. Yeah. That just beats everybody. <laughs> it kind of does. Except there's one that says me. So what you could have gotten that. That would have been the oh. worst one. Probably. <laughs> oh, but I can say Sammy defeats God because you're the host. Yeah. You're right. I am all powerful. Yeah. You are all powerful. You can mute. <laughs> you <laughs> have the mute button. <laughs> Watch the this. God. Boom. I just muted Jack. You see how funny that was? Okay, now we're going to hey. ask <laughs> Revolt. <laughs> Just leave it like that for the rest of the <laughs> um, All right. That was interesting. So, yeah, that, okay, I got to get you guys' feedback. Which game do you like better? Slide Ride. Okay, Marley? Uh, Slide Ride is definitely, I, 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 love, I love that game, but I think this character smash one is actually, it, 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 it can, I see potential there. It needs a bit more exploring. Yes. It's, it, it'll get there. <laughs> yeah. It'll get there. Okay. It, it, 
you need to go tra- uh you need to um take the wakanda portal in the tree and and mm. and explore there <gasps> i know and how the, the sniper character- defeats god he goes into the wakanda portal where god has no rule <laughs> Uh, what if God goes into that portal? <laughs> but God created that Wakanda portal, so he, he can did. just he can just end it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was so defeated. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, defeated, Jack. Oh. I'm sad now. <laughs> <clears throat> I had a chance. Yeah. Just a tiny chance. Tiny that would have been great to see if somebody could kill God, but. Uh, I had to make one that says like Satan. That would be interesting. I think I do have one that says that. <laughs> um, I actually, you know, what I thought about is like making it. I have a couple like locations where these people could be fighting at. So I have some, I didn't use them just because I don't know, but uh, like some of them say like a, a boxing ring, an elevator, uh, in a library. There's just like the dumbest places. Do you think that you would have liked to use those? Like just scenarios, like locations? Because when you're in the library, the librarian has the ultimate power. <laughs> God is diminished. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was thinking like, like these two would be fighting in hell and God has no power in hell because the devil is in charge there. <clears throat> so God is just like all the powers of God is just uh, non-existent. So the sniper wins. <laughs> so, Booyah. Yeah. Direct, God. <laughs> Direct. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, those are the two games that I had set up for you guys. Um, so Jack runs the That Pointless Podcast podcast. Jack, where can we find it? What are the places? It's on, I, th- I think it's pretty much everywhere. I know it's on Spotify and Apple Podcasts now. Uh, there's a bunch of other places. Most places have picked it up by now. Uh, but there is something I do want to for everyone here listening about. We have a new podcast coming out in, I think it's like a month, right? What are you doing it? Well, yeah, next month. Yeah, Jake's working on it. I'd let him introduce it. Okay, so it's a podcast where it's like a meditative thing, but it's like a comedy meditative thing. So you're in a void and just random shit happens there. So it's just like <laughs> random stories going on. Oh, that sounds like, amazing. The first one is where just a naked leprechaun in a green chair appears and has a giant purple hat and talks to you for a while. There's one with a plunger and gun control. That one's great. I don't know. It, 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 it's a very unusual podcast. It's going to be called The Void. All right. Everybody make sure to look out for that. Marley, uh, where can we find your podcast at? Uh, you can find the Water Cooler podcast on Spotify, just all the major podcast like platforms, Google Podcasts, iTunes. Um, I just I, I tell people to just go to Anchor and just search the Water Cooler. And <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what so, I yeah. used to. And uh, I, I would just like to add, like I listened to a couple episodes of the Pointless podcast, and I really enjoyed, like, <laughs> I really enjoyed those episodes. And uh, I'm yes. looking forward to listening to more. This podcast is great. Yeah, I love this podcast. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to listen to your podcast. I, I just followed it, like, what, one hour ago now, I think? Okay. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys <laughs> for coming on. I really appreciate yeah. it. I will see you guys <clears throat> later. Boom. Uh, thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, mate.